Hello lovelies, I'm Angela, this is Parisian Farm Girl. Bienvenue, welcome to the channel. This video today is no glamour, just gardening. But that was a few days ago. And so I've been gardening for three days, I'm all cleaned up and I am ready to spend a little time in the kitchen. So before we get started, I would love to say thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store with a mission to make healthy living easy. As a Thrive member, you will save money on every single order of delicious, fabulous, organic, and sustainable products. Orders over $49 receive free shipping. There's no tipping and no extra charges. If you find a lower price elsewhere, Thrive will match it. Click the link in this description box or visit thrivemarket.com forward slash Parisian Farm Girl to get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60 when you join Thrive Market today. Of course, buying groceries online has so many perks like buying the highest quality grocery essentials, eco-friendly cleaning supplies, non-toxic beauty items, supplements, sustainably sourced meat and seafood, and more, all from the comfort of your own home. If you listen to my podcast, you know I'm always lamenting the selection that my local grocery stores have. So Thrive Market definitely fills the gap for me. There's no way I'm finding vanilla bean paste here in Northern Wisconsin. So I have them send me some of my favorite baking ingredients that I would have to drive very far to find elsewhere. So visit the link in this video description to receive 30% off your first order. That's thrivemarket.com forward slash Parisian Farm Girl and you'll receive a free gift up to $60. It's going to be 67 today. This is our first warm day. The sun is going in and out. It's humid, so it feels about 74. It's fantastic. I'm grubby, head to toe. No microphones today, no fancy editing, no glamour, just gardening.
bugger about this garden. I mean, it's beautiful. I love it. Don't get me wrong. But I often think about like how sustainable it is, how <laughs> I really want to have this garden when I'm an old lady and how will I keep up with all this work? I mean, this, this look, this aesthetic, here, let me set you down, is, um, you know, if, if Shiverny is my inspiration, I mean, that says it all. Shiverny has a staff. Monty Don has gardeners, plural. Monet had gardeners, plural. Um, so one of the things that's the most challenging for me in the spring is the encroachment. I love these green paths. The verdant landscape from my bedroom window back there is really beautiful. But the reality is it's so much work every spring to to edge it all and clean it all up and just like remove these tufts of sod and this like sort of yarrow, I guess it's a wild yarrow, I call it carrot weed. Um, and the oregano, which is so invasive here. Uh, I think at some point in the next few years, I, I will need to maybe even hire it done. That sounds, <laughs> sounds impossible, but um, this really should be gravel. And it makes me sad because the, the punch of green is so visually beautiful, but I don't think I will be able to maintain this um, you know, God willing, 20 years from now, I don't, it's just so much work. It's not even weeding the beds, the perennial weeds that come up in the beds. It's just this week long of weeding the encroachment, you know, uh, it's a, it's a lot of work. It's really not my favorite thing to do. I want to do the fun things. Um, but this has to get done or else it really, really just gets out of control. One of my main goals in the garden this year is just to increase um, the amount of structure we have. And the bugger is, let's see if I can show you this. It's a really big space. There we go. It is a big space. So you can buy a tree or some shrubs and feel like it's making a huge difference. And it, it doesn't, <laughs> it just gets lost. Uh, last year I put in eight arborvitae in the parterre there in the middle and um the deer got in one night this winter they broke through the fence and just 
annihilated them. And so that was um, a really costly loss. And that was some serious, you know, evergreen structure that I was really counting on this spring. <laughs> I was really counting on it. So right now I'm just putting up my, um, I don't know what you want to call those. I don't know what to call those. Tripods, they're not tripods. They're sort of like teepees. Um, I've got three of them. And I'm going to go ahead and put another one right here because once they do get filled in, let me set you down here. I told you this was nothing fancy. Once they get filled in with, you know, the cucumbers or the sweet peas or whatever they're growing, that's sort of like fake structure. It's not evergreen, but it will do something in the meantime. And then I just have to see if I can scope out an affordable deal somewhere because the fact is I need so many like if I'm going to replace those arborvitae I need at least eight preferably 16 and um, that's no mean feat so structure is a big deal this year I put in a lot of roses last year um, in all the arbors so now I think there's a good 14 to 18 strawberry hill roses some of them are you know this big and some of them are going to be four years or four years old this year so that structure is on its way um but yeah i get a lot of comments sometimes your garden needs trees your garden needs structure thank you <laughs> i know that uh so let's do this let's open this guy up and get him installed for some fake pseudo structure Okay, it's day three of uh, no glamour, just gardening. And it's actually Mother's Day. So this is uh, one day where in theory, nobody complains about helping me. Uh, we have a lot to do out here. Uh, like I said, uh, pretty late with everything. So I'm in the back garden and um, just trying to spruce it up a little bit. This garden is just, I think it's just two years old and it's where I have um, my flower beds for cutting, my cutting garden, if you will. And then behind the camera is the hoop house that we put up last year. Of course, uh, we didn't tack it down hard enough. And right before winter, we thought we had just sort of made it. It blew off and just got shredded. So I'm gonna have to order another one, but I'm just trying to get the beds all tidy. Um, they had um, been dressed last fall. Uh, with compost from the cows. So of course there's little seeds that still come up. So I'm just trying to turn those over, expose the roots to the air so they die. That's sort of the situation with all these beds. So I'm just wrapping up this last bed here and maybe, maybe we're finally getting somewhere, but it's really nice because there's color to sort of distract from.
what I just found. <laughs> oh my gosh, check it out. Look at that. There you go, come on camera, focus. Right there. And then, more, and more, <laughs> pun intended. And this is really exciting because the kids had found some earlier. Uh, let's see here. Okay, look at this. Right there, can you see this? Right, let me flip the camera around. There we go. Right there. And then there's a bunch over there. This is why we're sort of just not doing these beds as neat as I normally would. Uh, Let's see, one of these has another one. Oh shoot, did I rake over it? There was some on the outside. And then I know, we already grabbed this one. Here's one here. And somewhere else, there's a bunch of them. Shoot. I have to finish weed whipping, but I'm so glad I saw those before I annihilated them. It's very exciting. Uh, we've been hunting the property. Oh, here, one looks like one came up. We've been hunting the property since uh, we moved in and have never really found anything worth uh, writing home about. And I don't know what is happening to these beds, why this is, why this is happening. Um, of course, I'm gonna Google it and make sure that's what I'm actually looking at uh, so nobody gets sick, but pretty exciting. It's kind of like, we found them all over this back area just today. So, yay. happy Mother's Day. Mother's Day artwork? I don't know. <laughs> Pretty big. Yeah.
Well, I think we got done with those crazy three days, that first kickoff of the season, just in time. Because the winds have come in and things are falling over and it's a little crazy out there now, but we put a dent in it and this is the beginning of the gardening season. You know how much I appreciate you being here, being along <laughs> for the ride. Uh, be sure to check out Thrive Market. I appreciate them sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out Thrive Market. I appreciate them sponsoring this video. Get 30% off your first order. That free gift worth up to $60. What I want you to do is think about joining me in Paris for one of my 2024 trips. You can find out more right here. You can reserve your spot by clicking that little Eiffel Tower. Of course, watch another video. It's so windy. I will see you again very, very soon. A bientôt.